Hey guys, Armageddon here today with a classic Ruger Mini 14. Some guys love it, some guys hate it, but this is the iconic A-Team gun. So we're gonna take that for a little blast today. This is a horribly unreliable mag. I'm just gonna start off by saying that, but yeah. Anyways, I got some steel down there, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna rip off a few shots with the stock folded. And the safety apparently still on. Safety just in the trigger well here. Safe. Fire. Well, clear through that mag. All right. So this is this is actually just a uh, well to go through the controls really quickly here. We have your standard pistol grip, side folding stock, which is actually really cool. Let's pop that open. You have a little catch down here, which you're going to pull down and then hinge up it kind of locks around this little nut on the barrel there and then this just locks open and that locks open back here nice nice actually really strong sturdy stock I, i've always been really impressed with these and uh honestly not that bad not great but not that bad gets the job done you've got some peep sights here front sight blade this is a standard flash hider you can also get an extended flash hider this is also just a standard heat cover. There's different types of heat covers. I really want the full length as an extended one. And then the stainless um, top cover. That kind of, that was kind of the, the look for the A-Team. And I always kind of liked that. So anyways, last round bolt hold open is good. Got a flapper mag release. This is not a Ruger mag. This is some Mitchell Arms. Um, not great. I've had a lot of problems with this mag. But the uh, next two mags I got here are Ruger's. This is a 20 rounder. The last one was a 30 rounder. Let's pop this guy in. And we've got a, well, just grab it, let her go. Runs home. All right, let's hit that steel again. Power five for five. I'm not very far away, obviously. That's not saying much, but uh, these 180 series were, they got a bad rap for being really inaccurate and they were, they were pretty inaccurate guns. Part of the problem was the barrel, as it heated up, it would just flip around and you get a lot of, uh, a lot of barrel weapon and a lot of point of impact shift due to that. So a common upgrade was the AccuStrut. And that's what I have here. Basically just hooks into this extension in the, uh, the gas block kind of, assembly here that bleeds off gas for the tappet i think um but that just runs an extra support down the length of the barrel and then it clamps on so that just helps with the structural integrity i think of the barrel you know so when it heats up it doesn't want to shift as badly so haven't shot this thing for groups don't really don't really know what difference it makes on or off but hey it looks all right and uh it's on there so that's that's this guy Toss that mag out as well. And then I'll show you really quickly here as well. So I mean, you just kind of like a Garand or mini, mini 14 based on the M14. Really actually pretty slick action. And then there's also a bolt catch, a manual one right here as well. A little plunge, spring loaded plunger. Just gonna pull this back, press that down and it locks it. Now I could try to throw a full mag in here. I've found it's relatively tricky to get them to lock. And then this one locks just fine. All right, let's go. Five more rounds at the steel. Cool gun. Cool gun. That's uh, that's the feature for today. We are unlocked. And man, it's a great gun. Great, cool little gun. Just handy. I I I haven't had problems with reliability as long as I've been running. Ruger mags. Just gonna fold the stock back in. And she's locked. She locks up real nice and tight, which is always always good. That's uh that's the Ruger Mini 14, guys. 180 series. Classic A-team gun. Love it. That's it. Peace out, guys. Armor gun out.